Tanzania's opposition party for democracy and progress known as Chadema celebrates the lifting of six-year ban on their rallies, which the government said were security concern. The party's deputy secretary general Benson Kigaila says during the ban, the state often targeted their members and supporters. The political environment was hard. Many people were arrested and we had a lot of trumped up cases. People were detained and tortured. In short, there were a lot of bad things that were done. Race groups say the late former president of Tanzania, Johnny Magufuli, cracked down on critics. Since his death in 2021, President Samia Sulu Hassan has vowed a more open political space, including this month's lifting of the ban on political rallies. Our responsibility is to protect you to hold political rallies peacefully, finish well, and leave safely. That's our responsibility as the government. Your responsibility as a political party is to follow the laws and regulations. The chairman of Chadema, Freeman Bowie, spent seven months in jail on terrorism charges before the prosecution in March dropped the case. He says President Hassan's lifting the ban and meeting with opposition members makes him optimistic about the future. I congratulate Her Excellency, President Samia Hassan, on the way she agreed with our suggestions as Chadema during our meetings. She said to me, Honorable Boe, let's find a way and a tradition of agreeing with each other. This president agreed with what I suggested to her on behalf of all the Chadema supporters, and yet there are some people who want me to insult her. I will never do that. But Chadema and rights activists say Tanzania's president needs to move forward with reforming the constitution and laws so rights cannot be taken away by decree. Statements from leaders most of the time are not a good way to lead any democratic country. So, to ensure this right continues, we must have laws, because if we wait and depend on the president or the ruling party's decision, we will not be moving forward in democracy. If we move by what the laws are saying, it will help this right to continue to be applied well in our country. Meanwhile, Tanzania's opposition plans to take full advantage of the ban being lifted, with rallies planned all over the country. Charles Combe for VU News, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.